Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this gable frame using slope deflection method. This is a symmetrical frame. In this frame, we have different moment of inertia for the vertical members AB and DE. The moment of inertia is 2i. For the inclined members BC and CD, it is 3i. Above the frame, we have uniformly distributed load 18 kN per meter. It acts for the full span of the frame. Height of AB and DE is given as 6 meter. We have to find the inclined length of BC and CD. Let us take this triangle. Base of the triangle is 6 and height of the triangle is 3. We can use Pythagoras theorem, root of 6 square plus 3 square. We will get the length of BC and CD. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us find sin theta. That will be 3 upon 3 root 5. We can eliminate 3 so that we will get 1 upon root 5. Now let us find cos theta. That will be 6 upon 3 root 5. 2 3s are 6. Finally, we will get 2 upon root 5. We know that this frame is symmetrical with respect to the dimensions and loadings. So, we can easily find the vertical reactions in the points A and E. To find VA and VE, we have to multiply the load with the distance and then we have to divide that by 2. When we do that, we will get 108 kN. Now let us see how this frame deforms. This frame deforms in this way. Since this frame is symmetrical and the loading is also symmetrical, in the point C, there will be no slope. So theta C is 0. From the center, we can split the frame into two parts. We can take only the left side and do the analysis. Here I have taken only the left half of the frame. Let us keep this displacement as a delta. Now let us find the fixed end moments. In the member AB there is no load so both of the fixed end moments are zero. In the member BC we have uniformly distributed load 18 kN per meter. The formula to find the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. For this load, the horizontal distance is 6 meter. So for L, we have to apply 6 and we should not take 3 root 5. Finally, for M of BC, we will get minus 54 and for M of CB, we will get 54. From the last video, we know that if this is delta, this also will be delta. And we have kept the inclined distance as a delta i. Also, we know that this angle and this angle will be same. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us find sin theta. That will be delta upon delta i. Using this triangle, we have found sin theta already. We can equate this one and this one. When we do that, we will get delta i which is root 5 delta. For the member AB, the displacement is a delta. And for the member BC, this is the displacement, which is a root 5 delta. Now let us start making the slope deflection equations. First, let us make them in the member AB. Since this member is subjected to sway, with the equations, we have to add the sway moments. For the member AB, the sway occurs towards the left side. So the sway moments should be taken as positive. Length of AB is 6. Let us apply that. And the moment of inertia is 2i. So instead of i, we have to apply 2i. Since in the point A, we have a fixed support. Theta A will become 0. Finally, in the member AB, we have made two equations. Now let us make the slope deflection equations in the member BC. We know that in this member also there is a displacement. 
So with the equations, we have to add the sway moments. For the member BC, the displacement occurs on the right side. So the sway moments should be negative. Length of BC is 3 root 5. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia is 3i. So instead of i, we have to apply 3i. We know that for the member BC, this is the displacement which is root 5 delta. So instead of delta, we have to apply that. Let us apply the fixed end moments minus 54 and 54. We know that in the point C, there will be no slope. So theta C will be 0. Finally, in the member BC, we have made two equations. Now let us make the joint equilibrium equation. In the joint B, when we add MBA and MBC, it will be 0. From the slope deflection equations, let us apply the expressions for MBA and MBC. Then we have to add them. After adding, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 5. We need one more equation. Let us take the member AB and make an expression for the horizontal reaction HA. In this process, we have to assume that the moments MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. Let us take moment about to B and find HA. HA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 6. So minus 6 HA. Both of these two moments are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are positive. Finally for HA, we will get MAB plus MBA upon 6. Now let us take moment about C. In this process also, we have to assume that the moment in the point C, that is MCB, is acting in the clockwise direction. The moment in the point A, that is MAB, is acting in the clockwise direction. The vertical reaction in the point A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. HA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 9. So 9 HA. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and distance by 2. Both of these two moments are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are positive. For HA, just before we have made the expression, let us apply that. After simplifying, we will get this equation. For MAB, MBA and MCB, let us apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations. After simplifying, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 6. Now we have two equations. We can take a calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the value of Ea theta b and Ea delta. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1, we will get MAB. When we apply them in the equation number 2, we will get MBA. When we apply them in the equation number 3, we will get MBC. And finally, when we apply them in the equation number 4, we will get MCB. On the left side, we have calculated the moments. Now let us calculate the moments on the right side. For that, we have to just change the signs. For MAB, we have got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. So MED should be acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So that will be negative. For MBA also, we have got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. So MDE should be acting in the anti-clockwise direction. And it will be negative. In the similar way, we can find MDC and MCD. Here you can see the bending moment diagram by superposition method. Now using this expression, we can find the horizontal reaction HA. Now let us take the member BC and we have to find the reactions RB and RC. First we need to find the vertical reactions VB and VC. 
by taking moment about C, we can find VB and then we have to subtract VB by the total load so that we will get VC. To find RB, we have to multiply VB with the cos theta. When we do that, we will get 79.17 kN. And to find RC, we have to multiply VC with the cos theta. When we do that, we will get 17.42 kN. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In the member BC, in this point, and in the member CD, in this point, the shear force becomes zero. In these two points, there will be maximum positive bending movement. Let us take BC and make a section here and find the maximum positive bending movement. We have to keep this uniformly distributed load along the direction of BC. Let us see how to do that. First of all, we have to multiply the uniformly distributed load with the distance 6 and then multiply with the cos theta and then we have to divide by the inclined length 3 root 5. When we do that, we will get 14.4. Let us make a section where shear force becomes a zero at the distance of x from the point C. We know that in this section the shear force is zero. Using that concept we can find x. This reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive and the UDL is acting downwards so that it will be negative and the distance is x. Finally for x we will get 1.21 meter. Now using the value of x, we can find the maximum positive bending movement in BC. Alternatively, we can draw the bending movement diagram, keeping the positive values up and keeping the negative values down. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.